Hi everyone, this is Dr. Jyoti Bala. I hope you all are doing great. In this session, we are going to discuss a very significant topic and resources related to your protein biochemistry. I know many of you at your beginning stages wanted to explore bioinformatics, especially if you are related to biochemistry, bioinformatics, biotechnology, and you are working on protein sector. Then this session will be very significant for you if you want to explore protein related bioinformatics tools, resources, and databases for your different projects. So let's get started. Having said that, Protein is really very important, whether you are coming from biochemistry, whether you are from biotech or bio IT industry, whether you are student, scientist or faculty for different projects, for different thesis purpose, report writing, for grant, you have to analyze certain protein at different stages. So most of the time, if you are a beginner, we require certain databases and resources from where we can get scientific information, the validated informations about your protein in terms of sequence or maybe data mining, like from where you get the protein information, what is its function, sequence. So basic information about that protein, that too scientific and validated information. So certain databases you require. After that, sequence information will be important because once you know your protein, what you are going to do with that protein samples. Some people can use it for in silico drug designing, someone can use for biopharmaceuticals, someone can use for enzyme purpose, antibody uh, things. So there are different functions of protein. I think most of the biotech and biochemistry students are aware of those things. So your application can vary, but mostly you require biological information about the protein, the sequence information, then come your structure. Because in biology, most of the things not only happens at the sequence level, but your structure information is also very important. So from primary sequence information, 2D, 3D and higher structures are important. So whether you can get these structure information from certain databases or maybe you can model these things or get the predictions of these things at certain tools. So these things we are going to discuss and later on, protein are also involved in functional part of your biological system based on their molecular interaction. So you are aware of protein-protein interaction, protein-DNA interaction, protein-RNA interaction, protein small molecules and metabolite interaction. So how you can do the analysis about all these things and what are the resources for that. So here we are going to get the information. So the first step is to get the information, the scientific information about your protein. Suppose if I have to work on BCL2 protein, which is having role in cancer, but suppose I have to start my project from the scratch, from A and where I don't know what this protein has in terms of its function, what is its localization and all these things. So as a beginner, as a young researcher, what I shall do, I should go to the scientific databases, biological databases, where I can get the literature about these protein and what other scientific community and groups has done projects and work related to that protein. So I will get the ideas, what is its molecular role, biological role, sequence, function, localization, structure information. So best part is either you can go to NCBI and in NCBI, you can go to NCBI PubMed from where you can get the scientific literature. So you can read scientific articles, mini re editorials, reviews related to your protein. So as much as information in terms of scientific literature, data you can gather, we can get it from NCBI EMBA. Okay, so literature will be one point. Other thing is you can get these kind of data from Google Scholars also and Science Direct. But my personal choice will be I will suggest you to go to NCBI because this is a, a very big biological databases maintained by NIH USA. So you can get a lot of data from there. So this is NCBI page. If you are a beginner, you can use this URL and come to this page first. 
I will make one separate uh, tutorial for NCBI if you are a beginner. I will guide you because here there are a lot of features you can get information about gene, genome, uh, bioassays, SNPs, and so on. And there are certain features for analysis also. So we cannot teach you everything in one go. Here we specifically wanted to give you information about protein. And in protein also, first we have to get the scientific literature. So you should come to NCBI and in NCBI, NCBI PubMed you have to use to get the reviewed literature and scientific information. So use this URL, come to this page and explore these things. Fine. So you will get scientific information about your protein, data and literature. Now in NCBI protein only, there is one subsection when you go to this left side and if you will scroll the uh, drop down button, you will find out protein subsection. So if you will type the if you will select this protein section and then type the name of your protein then you will get the information about your protein so suppose you are working in a plant sector or animal sector or human mice rabbit rat whatever samples you are handling these protein information if someone has already worked and have done experimental things then the information will be there so what if suppose you are working on protein or maybe some plant brassica and then you want to explore so there will be some subsections you can select those things if you suppose i have to work on homo sapiens i want the information of bcl2 for homo sapiens also you you can do those the selection and deselection there so based on that protein information from ncbi subsection protein you can get so pubmed was for literature and your Protein will give you information about protein. So who has done protein related experiment, author's name, literature, sequence, structure, annotations, everything you will get in that platform. Fine. So use these things first. Suppose you are a beginner and you don't want to explore these pages like uh, NCBI or EMBL. Then one thing you can do like uh, I will make one separate video for biological databases. Biological databases are the databases where a lot of different data related to biology is present in a structured way. Okay, and NCBI, EMBL, XPC, these things are very renowned biological resources and databases where in one platform we get all kind of data. If I talk about NCBI, it's US based uh, uh, database and it is maintained by NIH. So here you get all sort of data related to gene, genome, SNPs and your pathways and uh, bioassay so a lot of different data are there okay so suppose you don't want to go there you get confused so what is the other option there are specific databases and resources which are specific for a particular purpose like suppose you want to get only gene information or protein information or chemical information so there are separate databases for that purpose also so one such database is uniprod which is assigned for protein related information only so suppose you want to get the protein information in terms of sequence, structure, localization, structure and mutations, everything you will get in one platform. And I have already made a detailed videos about Uniprot, how to use, how you, uh, what kind of information you can get. I will be putting the link. If you have missed watching that video, you can get the detailed information from there also. So one thing is that either you get the protein information from NCBI protein or you can get the uniprot analysis related to a protein i will be putting all the url in the description sections also so this is the url uh, for your uniprot and the page will look like this i've already made the detailed video i request you to watch that also so once you have gathered relevant information in terms of literature scientific information and sequence information from your NCBI, EMBL, and your Uniprot. The next thing is your structure data. So suppose structure data comes from real experiments like NMR and experimentals related to 
uh, crystallography and all but these things take time and bit costly also so not every time these kind of information is present in the databases sometime you have to predict these structures also and you cannot directly uh, predict and do the modeling you require structure information two dimensional information first third three dimensional then you do homology modeling so there are certain tools and databases required for that purpose so let's talk if suppose the protein structure is already known and someone has already done that work so from where you can get the tertiary structure or the pdb files for known sample pdb database is a very renowned platform and database so you just go to this page by using this url and by name or if you have read the literature you know the pdb id code both way you can search the protein samples and structure information from there you can download the pdb files for p tertiary structure macromolecule analysis you require certain visualization tools also so this platform is already integrated with that so you can directly visualize your protein in such platforms also so pdb database is the biggest uh, database which contain huge amount of protein information in terms of structure so first thing is you can explore there structure information is also present in uniprot i have the uh, i have shown you in that tutorial the subsections where you can get the structure information so either you get it the tertiary structure information from pdb or from uniprot also suppose the structure is not present in the pdb and uh, pdb databases and if uh, you don't have extra crystallography or nmr then what you will do you can still homo do the modeling and the prediction so you can use swiss homology modeling tool and by giving the sequence template uh, sequence information you can search for the template and you can build the tertiary structure so you can use swiss model also suppose you want to get the secondary structure informations like whether is the helix whether is the turn what is the uh, property about your protein in terms of structure then you can use either spoma platform or cypred to get the information about two dimensional uh, information two dimensional structure so you can use this url you can come to these pages provide the sequence and then it will give the detailed information if you want the practical demonstration do comment me in the section comment section i will be more than happy to give you the full tutorials also about these platforms suppose you want to get the ideas about the physical chemical properties about your protein because not all of your work revolves around in silico or bioinformatics many a time you have to follow hybrid approach where you have to use in silico and wet lab many a time you are completely working in a wet lab experimentals so you should have the ideas about the physico chemical properties about your protein because you have to run your gels you have to run your column what is their solubility so you have to get the ideas about the physico chemical properties because we have to perform wet lab experiments also so these information you can get it from protpram tool which is a part of swiss so you can get it the information about there uh, you can get the physico chemical properties from there you just have to paste the sequence information and it is going to tell you the pi value molecular weight its properties compositions and all these details okay in case of protein a very important part is protein protein interaction and protein metabolite interaction also so in that case if you want to explore the molecular interactions and molecular and the biological interactions and its role in the biological system then you should explore string platform so for protein protein interaction you can explore string you just have to provide the sequ either sequence name you can provide the uh, name of your protein if you are handling multiple or customized proteome analysis if you want to do you can get these molecular interaction data the functional data from string platform suppose you require viral protein because in case of viruses you require host and your pathogen because viruses can't replicate on their own so host pathogen interaction is very crucial so in string you have to use virus string 
and if suppose you want to get the ideas about protein interaction with small metabolite or chemical compounds and uh, so small peptide then in that case in string you have to use stitch so i will give we, i will be providing all these url in the description and if you want detailed tutorial you please kindly comment me so i will be going to make those videos for all of you after string you can also use reactome if you want to get the ideas about complete molecular interaction network and biological role related to your protein in different physiological conditions and different biological roles so you can use and you can get the integrated idea about this protein and its function in the biological system so kindly use reactome for that purpose and finally if you want to do this molecular docking or maybe you want to get the ideas about structural interaction based on in silico analysis molecular docking then you can do either patch docking or swiss crop these two platforms are renowned platform very cited uh, like many people use these thing mostly these are cited platforms and if you are beginner you can very easily use these things in patch doc we have different features we can upload the files also and if you are working on de nova ligands and target you can upload those things also so for beginner i would uh, suggest you to either use patch doc or swiss doc if you are in advanced stages then we have multiple options like head doc auto doc pyrex and many other things so you can try these things for molecular docking interaction you can do patch doc is also having features for refinement also so if you want energy calculations and refinement further for your molecular docking results you can do those tasks here i hope you have liked the session and found this video insightful don't forget to like and subscribe the channel and do share these information among your scientific endeavor if you have any queries and comment associated with the tutorials or maybe you want practical demonstration then please drop me a message in the comment section i will be more than happy to provide you that tutorials in the upcoming videos stay tuned subscribe the channel thank you